to talk about another tax for your wallet. This will cut into your TV watching time. Yeah, several local cities are tossing an idea to the state to place a tax on streaming services like Netflix and Spotify. How much would it set you back? Ten on your side's Deanna LeBlanc explains the pitch and what some of your neighbors are saying about it. When it comes to paying for cable, lots of Virginians are cutting the cord. I don't have cable, but I do have Netflix, and that's how I usually watch my TV. And that means they're not paying a 5% communication sales and use tax that many cities and towns count on. That's why the Virginia Municipal League wants to extend that tax to include video and audio streaming, plus prepaid phones. So far, Newport News, Portsmouth, and Hampton back the idea. I think that's crazy. I feel like we already pay enough, so why tax it? Virginians see that current communication tax on things like cable, cell phone, satellite TV, and radio bills. If the tax extends to streaming services on, say, a $10 Netflix bill, you'd pay an extra 50 cents a month. Well, that's not too bad because, you know, cable bills run $100, $200 sometimes, depends on what you have. But, yeah, 50 cents not bad for taxing a Netflix. I can't cancel Netflix when I ain't got cable. <laughs> I'm going to have to pay the 50 cents. Hampton and Newport News tell us they each rake in about $10 million a year through the existing tax, but say that revenue is not going up. According to the Newport News officials, the proposed streaming tax would only bring in an additional $24 million statewide. Now, Delegate Steve Heretic, who represents Portsmouth, tells me he doubts this bill will get off the ground. He says it's tough for a standalone tax bill to get much backing. Usually, they have more success when wrapped into a larger comprehensive tax reform bill, and he doesn't see that happening this year. The legislative session, though, starts January 10th. I'm Deanna LeBlanc. 10 on your side.